On Wednesday, we did not see the interaction between Wolf City Officer Sean Lucas and Jonathan Price before Price was shot and killed, but Texas Rangers confirmed it exists. The one-page arrest affidavit release says the entire incident was captured on Lucas's body-worn camera. According to the affidavit, Lucas responded Saturday night to the Quick Check convenience store about a possible fight. Price's family said the 31-year-old had just broken up a fight between two people he did not know. When Lucas arrived, the affidavit says Price approached him asking, quote, you doing good multiple times while extending his hand in a handshake gesture. Officer Lucas told a Texas Ranger investigator he thought Price was drunk and tried to arrest him. The affidavit says Price responded, I can't be detained. Officer Lucas then got out a taser and Price started to walk away. The affidavit says the taser wasn't fully effective and while being tased, Price walked towards the officer and appeared to reach and grab the end of the taser. The detective says that's when Officer Lucas fired his gun four times, striking Price in the upper body. I think what you're seeing now is from what we as, a, as opposed to what we've seen in previous years, is now uh, law enforcement's going to arrest the police officer. Toby Shook is a criminal defense attorney not associated with this case. He says a probable cause affidavit for murder simply shows a killing by intentional act. Price's family has asked for video to be released in this case, something the Hunt County DA's office, as of now, has not done. You are going to have tremendous public pressure that wants to see the evidence in these cases. Of course, that could taint your jury pool. A jury that likely won't see all of the evidence, including that body camera video, for several more months. In Dallas, I'm David Goins. Jonathan Price will be laid to rest this weekend. Public visitation is Friday from 10 to 6 at Love and Integrity Funeral Services in Greenville. His homegoing service is Saturday morning at 11 on the Wolf City High School football field.